Good morning, everyone. I mentioned at the end of yesterday's lesson that living unseen can be quite hard, and you all looked at me with shock and awe, and I thought that I maybe could put one on the, uh, on the internet for you so that you could just have a very brief glance at it. If you were to look at that unseen, um, at the unseen sections that I gave you, the unseen exercises that I put on the um, on the internet, then you'll see that it would exercise 104. And I'm doing this one because it's quite a famous Livy unseen, or it's quite a famous Livy story, and it's called the Caldine Forks. It's the beginning of it. So let's begin, and I'm going to go very quickly through here. Apologies if I make any errors. Do I add Luceriam Fereban Viae? This first bit then. There are two parts would take you to Luceria. There were two parts to Luceria, two roads. Do I, we are. Altera. One, Praeter, across the uh, Oram, I suppose, the coast of the Great Ocean, you could say. Now that's going to be the Adriatic. So one, past the Adriatic, Patens, line open, and Aperta. What am I going to say for Aperta? If I've already said open, I suppose unblocked. So Patens, hopefully you can recognize that as a present participle. So line open and Aperta, unblocked. But, quanto, but, as tutior, I suppose you could say, but as safe as it was, fere, it was tanto, just as longior, just as long. So, you could say it was longior, it was as long, as much as it was long, it was safe, or as safe as it was, it was fere, almost Fere, let's not forget that word. It was fere, almost longior, as long. So tanto, quanto tanto here. So as safe as it was, it was fere, almost as long. Altera, the other, brevior, the other, shorter, went per furculas caudinas, went through the caudine forks. Sed ita natus locus est. But its nature was such but the nature of the place was such. Saltus duo. Two duo. Two alti, deep, saltus groves, should we say? Two deep saltus, wooded groves. I'm thinking of the Aeneid there. Angusti, with Dido. Angusti. Narrow and silvosi, wooded. So two deep groves, narrow, and wooded, are juncti, are joined, are connected, juncti sunt here, are joined, connected by a constant or unbroken, by a perpetuis, by an unbroken range of mountains, are connected between one another by an unbroken range of mountains inter se. Kirka, on each side. Jacket. There lies between them, Jacket inter eos, there lies between them, a rather, so Jacket, there lies between them, a rather, I don't want to say line open, plain, you could say a, a, a perhaps a huge, a rather large, Plain, herbodus, filled with grass, grassy, and aquosus, well watered or watery, so grassy and watered. With the road per quem medium, with the road through which there is iter, a road through the middle. So, there lies Clausus, closed in, there lies, I think I left that word out, shut in, closed in, Clausus, between them, inter eos, jacket, there lies, a rather satis patens, a rather extensive campus, field, in the middle, Grassy and herbudus and aquosus, grassy and well watered, through the middle of which there is a path. Said ante quam, but before, 
but before you Venias, ante cram Venias, but before you come to it, in Trandai, but before you come to it, first the Angustiae, and for that we're going to say the defiles, the defiles in Trandai Sunt must first be entered. We have a gerundive. Look, it's a green in Trandai with angustiae. It's a green there with it. And if you remember, we said that with one of the ways that you can tell the gerundives, you can actually just see me, um, or sorry, see me, hear me, perhaps, um, quickly looking up for angustiae to see if we've got that so straight. So first, primae, the straights, angustiae, in Trandai Sunt are to be entered, must be gerundive of obligation in trandi agreeing with the angustia because it agrees it's not going to be a gerund plus a gerund wouldn't ever have these because the gerund is going to be neuter, so it wouldn't ever have these AE endings. So first the angustiae first the straights must be entered and afterwards et and I suppose the, retur the return journey the retro wea, the journey back, either that, so, and, if, I suppose you could say, and, if you, well, sorry, before, if you want to go forward, so, and, you must either out, go back over, so either those steps upon which and either Eadem, those same, that same path which in Sinuaris you started upon must repetenda, must be another gerundiv here, must be sort of rewalked upon, must be retrodden upon, maybe if it's the path. And either that same path which you, qua, which you in Sinuaris, which you started upon, must be repetenda, gone back over. So you must either go back over the path which you made your way upon, which you started upon, or if you would paropergas rather go, go on, see si. if paropergas you'd rather go on, then the saltum, then allium saltum, then another allium saltum, then another grove, artiorem and impeditiorem, then another grove, even more artiorem, narrow, and even more impeditiorem, difficult, evadendum is to be gone upon. You must, must be passed out through. So, or if you choose to go on, then you must go through another. Let's make this gerundive, although the gerundive is obviously always, obviously I say, is always, act, is always passive. I'm sorry, let's make it active here because it'll sound a little bit better. So if you choose to go on, you must go through saltum, another, allium saltum, another grove, even more artiorem, even more narrow and more difficult. So, I was just, you could just see me, or hear me rather, I keep on saying see you, you can hear me there stumbling through my own translation of it, which would hopefully support the fact that, as I said to you, Livy can be quite difficult. I, mean, I don't think that one's horribly difficult, but it's got a few wonderful gerundibs in it. So obviously the ewadendum there, agreeing in the last sentence with the saltum, and because it's a green, that's going to make it a gerundive. Anyway, there's a very brief example of a Livy passage for you.